someone just posted this photograph to an astrophotography group, asking what it was that they had captured. The man in question detailed that he just purchased a telescope for his son, and that because England had some nice weather, something that doesn't happen very often, he decided to get out the telescope and take a photograph of the moon. He went on to detail that he doesn't have any special equipment, and that once the moon was lined up with the telescope, they took some photographs through the lens via their phone. However, once he reviewed some of the images, he could see two objects in the upper left corner. Originally, the man didn't suspect these images to show anything strange, and thought that he had captured an astronomical event on camera, but those who saw the image couldn't agree on what it shows. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that an amateur astronomer has captured these objects close to the moon, and due to their shape, colour, distance from the moon, and not having any obvious wings or shape that matches any conventional aircraft, it's led some to speculate that what we might be looking at is an unknown mysterious aircraft. The man who took the photograph said the following, I purchased my son a telescope at Christmas, and this is the first time that we managed to sit down together, set it up and look out of it. Living in England, we don't get many cloudless days, and today was one of those perfect days where there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Once we set up the telescope, we added a lens we purchased, and decided to aim it at the moon, and due to the moon being a large object in the sky, it's recommended to use this as a beginner target, as the moon is big and can be easily seen through low-budget telescopes. I went inside while my son was doing this, but moments later, he called me out and told me that there was something close to the moon. I looked through the lens and confirmed that there was definitely something hovering there, although I couldn't really make out what it was and how big it was. After looking at this thing for a few seconds, I decided to get my phone out and take a photograph through the lens, which proved to actually be quite difficult, as the camera kept jumping as it was trying to focus. I only managed to take one photograph that was of decent quality before the objects moved off. Something to note is that while I was taking the photo, I asked my son if he could see the objects from where he was, and he said that from where he was standing he couldn't, and by this point I knew that the objects were still there as I hadn't yet took the photo, so these two objects must have been at quite a height for my son to have not have seen them and it makes me think that pretty much everyone wouldn't have seen them, unless they were looking through a telescope at that specific time. End quote. Others who saw the image said that these objects are unidentified, although they went on to say that just because they're unidentified, it doesn't mean that they have anything to do with advanced life, and said that at this moment in time they can't be identified. Interestingly, it's just been announced that NASA is joining the hunt for mysterious aircrafts, and that a team will be put together in order to observe and study this mysterious phenomena. NASA said the following on their website. NASA is commissioning a study team to start early in the fall to examine unidentified aerial phenomena, that is, observations of events in the sky that cannot be identified as aircraft or known natural phenomena from a scientific perspective. The study will focus on identifying available data, how best to collect future data, and how NASA can use that data to move the scientific understanding of UAPs forward. The limited number of observations of UAPs currently makes it difficult to draw scientific conclusions about the nature of such events. Unidentified phenomena in the atmosphere are of interest for both national security and air safety. Establishing which events are natural provides a key first step to identifying or mitigating such phenomena, which aligns with one of NASA's goals to ensure the safety of aircraft. There is no evidence UAPs are extraterrestrial in origin. The Associate Administrator for Science at NASA's headquarters in Washington said the following, NASA believes that the tools of scientific discovery are powerful and apply here also. 
we have access to a broad range of observations of Earth from space, and that is the lifeblood of scientific inquiry. We have the tools and teams who can help us improve our understanding of the unknown. That's the very definition of what science is. That's what we do. The agency is not part of the Department of Defense's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, or its successor, the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group. NASA has, however, coordinated widely across the government regarding how to apply the tools of science to shed the light on the nature and origin of unidentified aerial phenomena. The agency's independent study team will be led by astrophysicist David Spergel, who's president of the Summers Foundation in New York City and previously the chair of astrophysics department at Princeton University in Princeton, New Jersey. Daniel Evans, the assistant deputy associate administrator for research at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, will serve as the NASA official responsible for orchestrating the study. David Spergel said the following, Given the paucity of observations, our first task is to simply gather the most robust set of data that we can. We will be identifying what data from civilians, government, non-profits, companies exist, what else we should try to collect, and how best to analyse it. The study is expected to take around nine months to complete. It will secure the council of experts in the scientific, aeronautics and data analytics communities to focus on how to best collect new data and improve observations of UAPs. Daniel Evans, the Assistant Deputy Associate Administrator for Research at NASA's Science Mission Directorate said the following, Consistent with NASA's principle of openness, transparency and scientific integrity, this report will be shared publicly. All of NASA's data is available to the public. We take that obligation seriously, and we make it easily accessible for anyone to see or study. End quote. So what do you guys make of these interesting photographs? And also how NASA will now be conducting their own research in regards to these mysterious objects? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below. And to help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.